alaikum, it's Jenna G, that's me, the Jen from DT. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be working with lamb meat or sequins. Now, I first ate this, I never really thought that I would eat this, right? And I ate it some time back. We went to Grenada, I think it was, and I just so simply one of them and I fell in love with this. So I'm going to be doing a curry lamb or curry counts for you guys today. So I'm just going to be using half the amount. That should be about half there. And I'm just going to like snip off any extra skin part of it. And these are in small pieces already, but if you want to cut it smaller, you can go ahead and cut it smaller. And then to clean this, you don't want to use lime or vinegar because that will actually toughen up the meat more. So you're going to add some flour. And I'm just going to let it soak in some, I'm going to add some water and I'm just going to let it soak for a few minutes. So once you've washed your um, lambi with the flour and water, I'm just going to add some green seasoning. Now you're probably saying, Jenna, this is like a little bit of food, what are you going to do with that? Well, husband will really eat this, he might taste it, but that's just about it. So I'm just making it for me really. I'm adding some salt, some black pepper. So I'm just gonna mix this up. And I have some onion. I'm just cutting up a pimento with it. If you don't have access to pimentos, you can just eliminate it. So you can add any sort of pepper that you want. So I'm adding our hot pepper. And you can add any amount of pepper as well too. And now we're just going to put everything together. So I'm going to be using some roasted jira and some hot hot curry in this um, recipe. So I'm going to be adding some coconut oil to my pot. And I'm going to be adding my onions, um, pimentos and pepper. Then goes my curry. I'm going to add my curry and my jira. You want to keep your heat on low and you want to roast or toast your curry powder and your jira. So your house and your kitchen is going to, you're going to be smelling amazing and it's going to get a little grainy and to this I'm going to add some water. So you want to keep toasting it or roasting it for about a minute or so keeping your heat on low and then we'll add the water. And when you're doing this, you're just helping to release all that lovely flavors from your curry powder. Switching spoons so I won't be making too much noise. And now to this, I'm going to add my lambi. Stir it up to coat everything. And I'm going to add water to this now. I'm just going to cook it down until the, um, most of the liquid has been reduced and then I'm going to add it to the pressure cooker. Okay, so this I'm going to just add to my pressure cooker now. Now this is a little bit for a big pressure cooker, right? But I just want to speed up the time. And I'm going to add some water to this. Okay, so that should be enough. And now I'm just going to cover it. And I'm going to let it cook for about 20 25 minutes. Alright, so let's check it and see what it's looking like. So I always have a thing with pressure cookers, like stuff burning. I know that it'll be like, well, you need to add more water. And yeah, that's true. But sometimes, I don't know, like I'll just leave it on before you know it. The stuff burns. So I'm going to let this cook again. So it's about 20 minutes that went by. So I'm just going to, so I'm just going to cover it back. 
and put it back up for about a 10 minutes again all right so let's take a look at it all right so you see most of the water has been reduced now so because it's like a small amount and this pressure cooker is so huge i'm just going to transfer it back to my pot my smaller pot and now i don't want so much sauce in it so i'm just going to put it back on the stove to let some more of this water uh, cook down a little bit so the sauce could be a little thicker you can adjust it to how it, however you like if you like a lot of sauce you know well you can feel free to leave it like this or if you want it a little thicker just cook it down until most of the water is gone and in the last few minutes of cooking i'm just going to taste it you can taste it for salt i'm going to add some more green seasoning in it and i don't think there's enough pepper so i'm just going to add more pepper i'm going to put the entire the all the, the rest of it and now we should be fine and i've got my dal and my rice ready waiting for this to finish all right so we have enough sauce for my dal and rice so i think this is fine you can see it's kind of dark i'll put it out so you can see it in the light i'm just gonna put some onto my plate oh my goodness this looks pretty good guys curry lambi all done and i'm going to be eating it with some dal and rice i have to add some watercress and cucumbers of course all right and now we're good to go so i have my watercress and my cucumbers my curried lambi or curried sea conks. easy like that guys easy like that to make all right guys so that is it for our curried lambi video today so you saw that i use the pressure cooker now the pressure cooker comes in very handy but i keep um saying that it can be dangerous um but i think that it cuts down your cooking time so much it makes like meat and stuff so much more tender so i prefer to go the pressure cooker way but you can not use the pressure cooker and just continue boiling and adding some water um you know until it's the right tenderness for you just remember your curry mix could be a mix of more jira in it more curry more masala you can use uh, turmeric with saffron i don't really use that in mine but you know it's just up to you this is just to show you guys the basic method to to put together and you can add as much green seasoning hot peppers if you want anything you want to add to your curry uh lamb meat. so i'm going to be having this with dal and rice but some people like to have a little roti as well i think we had a curry uh lamby roti and it was pretty good but you know me i'm a dal and rice kind of person so i'm just gonna go for the dal and rice and curry lamb meat. so i hope you guys guys enjoyed this video if you did like it please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to share with all your friends and your family don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of my videos and stay tuned for lots more videos to come.